Pokemon Fire Red Walk through part 21. We're going to finish off the Rocket Base at an amazing 12 minutes and 56 seven seconds and 73 milliseconds. Fucking amazing. Alright, I'm going to come down here and grab these items before I face this last Rocket Grunt before the big boss man. One of the last, at least. Um... He says, the lift key. The elevator does not work without a lift key. What lift key? I'm an idiot. Uh. Yeah, only an idiot would have two Pokemon, one being a coughing. Coughing's a pretty decent Pokemon. Crappy special defense. Decent defenses. But poison type Pokemon are just useless, really. They're only strong against pure grass types, and there is only one pure grass type in this uh, generation. So unless you're going up against Tangela, you're probably not going to need a, a poison type. They're good for stat, putting on stats and all, but not too good to use, in my personal opinion. And Jolteon levels up. Oh no, I dropped the lift key. Damn clumsy people. Um. Alright, now we got the lift key, and now we can just finish off this whole uh, Team Rocket hideout experience, which was not really good. Because personally, none of the rockets truly really give you, even Giovanni doesn't give you too much of a run for your money if your Pokemon up to like level 30. Alright, now we need to go back down. I had to do this twice because I messed up. Calls, calls, calls me an idiot. So, see, I messed up there. Ah, my nose. Okay, um, simple maze. Nothing really too difficult. We've done this before. All you gotta do is just head south. Pretty much, take all the ones that head south. And if you can't really know what how to head south, just follow my footsteps. Alright, we're gonna head down to this elevator before, but we got the lift key. We could just go inside the elevator. Now we can operate it. Cause see, an elevator goes up and down. Just in case you did not know. You're gonna need to go down to the basement floor. The fourth floor of the basement. Um oh there's an item. I think that's an ultra ball. No, it's calcium. See so yeah, I have crappy short term memory. Damn me. Um, these, these guys are not too difficult, um, I think the most powerful Pokemon they have is an Arbok, and, yeah, stupid me not realizing I still have Jolteon out in front, and ground type moves are super effective against Jolteon, and ground types cannot get affected by electric type moves. And even if they did, it would do like half the damage. But they are unaffected, so they had to switch up to Venusaur. Venusaur needs to get some good levels. I, I'm, I like Venusaur. I think it's not, it's not my favorite first gen Pokemon, but it's up there. Just because it just does so much. I just wish it learned more good uh, grass type moves besides Razor Leaf. Cause I mean, like in the new generation, you've got Leaf Tornado, Leaf Blade, and I don't know. I I still have yet to even play through the first, the fifth generation. So, I mean, I played like 15 minutes of it on an emulator, but eh, I'm personally waiting until I get a DS to run through it. Um, Sand Flash. The only thing you have to worry about them is their poison stings, just because they can cause you to get poisoned. So stats. Basically, Team Rocket's just a big stat user Pokemon. All the Pokemon usually involve stats, except Giovanni. Giovanni uses ground, ground type Pokemon, but ground slash rock. Considering in this game, ground type Pokemon are usually part rock, and vice versa. Besides the very select few, like Sand, Shrew, Sand Slash, and Cubone and Marowak, Marowak off. Um. I chose to go to Nido King because ground type moves are highly effective against poison type. I'm also debating whether or not to change Nido King from having a uh, double kick to like brick break. I've yet to figure out, but I'd probably change it to brick break. Brick break's a pretty good fighting type move. 
And this last guy right here. You have to face both of these trainers for that door to open, just so you know. Um, because if you do not face them, you won't be able to get to Giovanni. And the only reason we have to do this is Giovanni ends up uh, dropping, quotations there, dropping in an item called the Silph Scope, and we need that to get through the rest of the game because we have to head. Uh, you'll see. But Jolteon, and it's and it's amazing, um, and amazing. Um, Shockwave takes out that Ekans. So I just switch out to Dragonair because I don't want to play around anymore. I just want to quickly get through this. Mm, water poles. Even though it's not part water, it's water pulse is amazing because Dragonair is just a pretty good Pokemon. I don't remember the stats on it, but it was still pretty good. Go, Nido King. Chabuck. Did you know Arbuck spelled backward is Cobra? Ekin spelled backwards is Snake? And Muck spelled backwards is Cum. But not that type of Cum. Some weird lingo for come because it's k-u-m come is c-u-m spelling lesson for you kids <laughs> uh, but arbuck had nothing to do uh, being up against my level 34 nido king with dig dig is an amazing move nido king does not learn any good ground type moves it may learn earthquake which is an amazing now ground type move but if it don't, you still can get Earthquake after beating the 7th gym. And you gotta go up there and just click on him and say hi. And he says some weird stuff about him being Giovanni and you being an insolent pup. Isn't that the same line the guy in SSN used, you insolent pup? Anywho, he has all ground type Pokemon all around the 25 five range. So a good ground type, a uh, good either a ground type move, or uh, leaf and water. So if this is the time where you want to get your uh, leaf type up, grass type Pokemon mo leveled up, or your water type, this would be the perfect chance. As long as they're up to like the level 25 range, you should be fine. I don't see any reason why your Pokemon wouldn't be up to level 25 by now. Rhyhorn's a pretty good Pokemon. It evolves into Rhydon at a high level, though. I forgot which level, but Rhydon's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, you can catch you can't catch Rhyhorn Rhydon. You can't catch Rhydons. You can only catch Rhyhorns, and they're in the Safari Zone, and they're all around like level 25 to like 28. So if you want to have one of them on your team, you can. Kangaskhan. Uh, the biggest thing to know about Kangaskhan is it's a normal type Pokemon. It does no Mega Punch. I think Mega Kick. And some other, I think it knows to dig it, dizzy punch and bite. But its uh, special ability is I forgot what it's called. But basically, its special ability is if you put it to sleep, it'll wake up the next turn. It does not stay asleep for long. Um, so just take a note of that. But besides that, you shouldn't have too much problem defeating them. Uh, grant a good fighting type move. I don't know why I didn't use Thrash in the first place, but you get a thousand XP, and Idle King gets up to level 35, <clears throat> and now you're done, and pretty much done with Celadon City. All you gotta do is come back here after you get the Pokey Flute, and wake up the Snorlax if you want to catch it or get rid of it. Um, there's the Self Scope. So now we can go back to Lavender Town and finish our quest there at the uh, cemetery. I don't think it's called the cemetery, but I'm going to call it the cemetery because dead Pokemon go there. I am talking a mile a minute here. Wow. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to Lavender Town and finish up there. And then from Lavender Town to Fuchsia City. Fuchsia City. So I should be able to finish up Lavender Town hopefully in one more video. One to two videos, depending on how long it takes. Um, Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Send out Grimer. Grr. And Grimer has nothing. Is 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 nothing compared to Dragonair. And it's amazing water pulse. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I also decided to turn off the sound 
on it just because it was like a second late and I think a few people told me to might as well turn it off there's no need to play it anyways <laughs> you don't really need to hear the do 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 but if you want me to want to hear it I can sing it for you my va my amazing singing voice do 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 I can't do it and Jolteon raises get some XP um I've decided I've got four rare candies from the ones I've collected and I've said it I'm just gonna give them all to Jolteon just because it'll save me time and uh, training it because if I just train uh, Jolteon up none of my other Pokemon will get up to a high enough level so I decided might as well just train Jolteon straight out of the bat just finish it off with some rare candies it should be <clears throat> gets up to like level 33 or something and uh, level 33 is where I kinda want it to be right now because it'll be just enough XP so that I can train the rest of my Pokemon up and it learns double kick at level 30 also I'm gonna teach it double kick because it doesn't have many good attacking moves right now besides quick attack. I'm gonna get rid of growl just because I I use leer and tail whip, but I don't use growl at all because <laughs> taking down its attack is not always the biggest concern of mine. But <clears throat> it gets up to level 32, and we're pretty much done. Um, basically, the rest of this video is just me going to be flying to Lavender Town with my awesome Farfetch'd. But, um, oh yeah, the stats on it. It's got some pretty good attack, but like all electric-type Pokemon, they've got pretty crappy defenses. Um, thanks for watching. Um, check out the people I subscribe to. Their videos are pretty sweet. Um, yeah, let me fly out. But thanks for watching, and stay tuned for part 22, Fuchsia, uh, Lavender Town. Thanks for watching.